Hi everyone, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. Today I have an exciting live unboxing for Goodwill Blue Box. Their mystery boxes drop once a week, every Friday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. They go fast. When I mean fast, I mean like one minute, maybe two minutes. They have jewelry, they have kids clothes, women's clothes, men's clothes, vintage clothes, which are pretty much impossible to get. So let's get started. I have a denim box. There's supposed to be 10 to 12 pieces of denim. I paid $20, I paid $5 for shipping. So I did open this box and I did look at the first item because this is my second take. And so the first item I pulled out was not very thrilled with. This was actually on their sales floor because it is tagged. So it's probably an item that didn't sell because it is room 21, which I do not pick these up to sell. And do you see the rippling here? That is called puckering. That's because the elastic is too stretched from where um, they do have all the buttons and I don't see any like significant wear except for the puckering. So I'll put these on Facebook for $5. The next pair of jeans. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> uh, White Stag Plus. This is like old Walmart with the inelastic waist. They're 18 petites. And they look short. I would say these are intended to be like ankle length. I will put these up on Facebook Marketplace. Probably $5. If you don't sell on Facebook, you might want to consider it if you don't mind selling lower dollar items because they sell. Alright, this one's a little bit better. Here we have some Levi's. And they're size 20, so it's a great size. Um, they have the pocket flaps, which tend to do a little bit better. They are the low flare 542. Now in uh, jeans, especially plus size, you always want to check the groin for wear because sometimes it's worn super thin, but these look pretty good. And I do not see wear marks on the bottoms. So these are good to go. I will probably list these for $15. And so, yeah. Um, there's maybe a little bit of wear on the pockets, but that's nothing that people would really care about. So, so far I'm at 15, 20, 25. Okay, so I've already paid for the box. There we go. And if you're interested in Facebook Marketplace, uh, most of the sales I do, I ship out. And Facebook labels, I always have the buyer pay for shipping. And Facebook only pays, or only does 5% commission, so love that. This is good. Not your daughter jeans. 10 petite, a very dark wash. Looks to be straight leg, and these look to be in like new condition. I do not see any flaws. These are the mini boot. I do pretty good with not your daughter jeans. They also used to price wool on thread up, but that's probably a thing in the past. So I'll probably get uh, 25, 30. And even though that's a 10 petite, I actually do sell petite pretty much as much as I sell regular sizes. So it doesn't really bother me. Now, if it was like a, a two petite or a four petite, not so much because smaller sizes do take longer to sell. Okay. So these are tiny. These are kids, which I was hoping not to get kids. Um, there are 14 slim. And they're Wrangler, which Wranglers are sold at Walmart. They are sold, obviously, at other stores. And um, when I look at number of views, especially on Facebook, my views for Wrangler, the brand, are really high. So it's a sought-after brand. These do have the nice elastic adjustments on the inside. And surprisingly, for boys' jeans, I do not see wear on the knees. So this kid must have not worn them because... My kid will put holes in pants. I think I have two pairs of pants that I need to patch right now. So, um, I'd say $10. Put those on Facebook. Oh my goodness. Some old school men's cargo shorts. Jean at, at that. Savan or Savan, I don't know how. Savan, I think. These are size 34s. They're smaller than I thought. They looked a little bit bigger than 34s. 
Um, actually, you know, cargo shorts, even though they were really popular like 10, 15 years ago, people still love them and wear them religiously. So, I mean, these will still sell. I think I can get five to 10, probably 10 because they look good. We'll see. Okay. Another pair of kids jeans. This is not a kid's box, but it didn't, I don't think it specified, so technically they could pick kids, men's, women's, but they're Levi's, so that's good. These are the 527s, and they are a size 14 regular, so just a regular straight leg, medium wash. Since these are regulars, I do not see the elastic. I do like the elastic for my kids because... They always seem to fall off the bottoms. So, um, size 14. Saw these for $10 as well. And I'm just probably putting these on Facebook. If you know me, I cross post to like seven or eight platforms. I initially started on eBay and now I'm on like seven or eight platforms. But for the low dollar items like these, I'm just going to put them on Facebook. So, we have a little pair of girls' denim jeans. Baby Gap. Oh, look it. These are size three, and my daughter actually just went up to size three, so we'll keep these, which is nice. Okay, so, hey, that's good. All right, the next is New York and Company. It's an older style, probably 10, 15 years old, but it is a size 18. It is a denim skirt. I can probably get $10 for this. I'm not gonna zip the fly. But it has all the buttons. So, so far, even though <laughs> these pieces are out like a little dated, um, I do not see flaws on these really or blemishes or anything that requires like extra TLC. So, not too bad. Ooh, maternity. So, we have some maternity like Bermuda mid thigh length shorts by Old Navy, size six. I could probably get five dollars on Facebook maybe eight we'll see we have two pairs left and then at the end I will count and tell you the total amount that I got so the shipping label was up to 15 pounds and I weighed the, the box and it weighed 12 and a half pounds so we will see okay so now we have some Express size 8 and this is older like Y2K, and so these might actually do decent. And these were poles. They still have the Goodwill tag on them. So these are a pair of dark wash flares and Y2K vibe with no pockets. So nice dark wash, wide leg flare. I could probably get 25 for these. Something that I'm considering doing is buying a mannequin leg mannequin I don't know what they're called uh, because I have so many jeans and I just feel like pictures look so much better on a mannequin so I may consider buying them they're like $60 and so I don't know if I want to pay that but long term I think it'd be worth it oh these are cute uh, oh my goodness vintage I used to wear this brand sold them all was it pennies Arizona jean company uh, Look at this little flower, little hibiscus Hawaiian flower. But it is, you see it's uh, peeling. The elastic is still good. They are a girl's size 12, but realistically I will probably sell them as a women's extra small. I'll take measurements, but yeah, they are, they'd be high waisted and I'll sell them as a woman's extra small for like $5. So now I'm going to count the pieces and then I'm going to count the total amount. If I sell everything, how much I'll make, okay? So just give me one second. All right, so we have a pair of jeans I'm keeping for my daughter that are Baby Gap. So those are nice. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Okay, so I got 12 pieces and on the description it did say 10 to 12 pieces. So now I'm going to count and tell you how much I think I can make. 
jet like I am being a realistic okay I'm not inflating the price you can see my son's foot he's actually sitting in timeout so okay um 10 20 30 35 40 60 65 90 100 105 okay 110 so $25 into $110 now take into mind 5% so I can make $100 so I can quadruple my money having it stripped straight to my house but you have to be comfortable with selling outdated clothes on Facebook because I don't realistically think they would sell on other platforms from my own experience so and like I said I've been doing this for five years but this is my honest review. I'm not sponsored, just a regular part-time reseller, work at home mom. So I hope you enjoyed. Please like this video if this is content that you're interested in or subscribe if you have not yet. All right, stay safe and have a thrift delicious day. Bye.